go. Now we're good? Now we're, now, good. now we're good. Now we're good. Now we're good. Okay. All right. We're not just good. We are super. Are you we? Don't, you don't see what I'm throwing down there? This is going to be a super <laughs> episode of the Totally Spoiled Podcast. Are you really not with me on that? Why are you scratching your head? <laughs> I wish people could hear that on the podcast. You can see it on YouTube. Can you hear that? She's like literally scratching it's her head. It's not because I haven't showered in five days. It's, <laughs> yeah, I promise. I'm going to roll know. over here. You stay over <laughs> there. Um, It's because Brian is throwing something at me that I'm really not catching verbally. It's going to be a super episode of the Totally Sp- Dean Kane is on the show. <laughs> I'm Superman. <laughs> oh, my God. Huh. Like, I literally just want to start this entire podcast over. <sighs> all right, that was like, right. like, I was... He's yelling again, all right, ladies and gentlemen. When we're, he hits that high pitch, no. We're like one minute he, in and I'm already high pitch. Like, let's, I'm like, like... I wasn't like supposed to know I was supposed to, f- like, play Mad Libs this early on, like, super, man, super, just give me, throw me something, fill in the blanks, April, super... Man? Good job. Oh, my God. Good job. Come so, on, man. <laughs> so, Dean Jeez. Kane. Dean Kane, we talked to him. He's going to be on the show. He's you can awesome. actually, uh, afterwards, hear it on the podcast version of the Totally Spoiled Podcast. I was going to, like, go into this <laughs> whole thing about how it's it's not only super because it was an amazing episode of This Is Us last night, mm. and mm. because we're going to be talking about A Star Is Born, but Dean Kane. Also, he's got a new movie called Gosnell, which we're going to talk about. We also uh, are going to talk about if it's hard for him to disconnect from being Superman. Yeah. Because he did it for like four years. Long time. And then, what's the weirdest thing he's ever seen with hosting Ripley's Believe It or Not? Oh, God, yeah. So good. (laughs) So good. Guys, this is going to be super. Oh, just stop. Just stop. Just stop. uh, does, we're gonna, it, does it not make sense? No, it no, doesn't. No. We're going to try to make it through it. 30 minutes here in the Totally Spoiled podcast, <laughs> but as you can see, we're probably going to kill ourselves five minutes in. Shocker. Secondly, we got like tons of wind and rain going outside yeah. because of Hurricane Michael, so who knows yeah. if, if the power is going to hold on for 30 minutes. There's a lot of things at stake for today's show. Yeah, there is. No so kidding. We, we got to get going. Thoughts are with everybody in the panhandle because oh God, yeah. I, I think last I heard it was like a Category 4, 100 and. 45 miles? It, I think it was higher. Did it go I, higher? I, I think last time I saw it was 155. And what's crazy, Brian, is I actually have a wedding next week in Destin. I don't know where Destin is. Panhandle. <laughs> I don't. Well, here's Super. <laughs> Super. Yeah, where are you? This Who do I sound like? <laughs> Who do I? Well, it, do so I, like? I have friends who are DJs who do shows in Destin, and every time they say Destin, I, I don't know where it is. Are you but even it, from here? Who I'm not. I'm actually from Montreal. It's funny oh, that, you mentioned that. that, explains that. A lot. <laughs> but no, that so it's near the Panhandles? Lot. Yeah, so do you know... Panhandle? Wh- pan, yeah, the Panhandles. We got a lot of them in Florida. God, we need to wake up. What day is it? What time? <laughs> such a bad episode. What is going on? <laughs> when I what? when I submit our episodes to the to the higher ups to listen to our podcast, I'm just ignoring Not this one. This one. <laughs> Ignore Not episode this thirty three of the Totally Spoiled Podcast. I think we're pretty entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> Someone told me to be your biggest fan. Super. So. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into some spoiling. Oh god, but yes, that is by the Panhandle. Good to know. So. At Brian Fink, at (laughs) April On Air, thank you so much for following and subscribing to the Totally Spoiled Podcast. You can also watch on YouTube. If you've got a smart speaker, you can say, hey, Alexa, play the Totally Spoiled Podcast, and then you can hear us being completely super. (laughs) I I see what you did there. So have you seen A Star is Born? No, I haven't, and I keep saying I want to watch, but no one wants to go with me to see it, so I think I'm going to go alone. It's not a bad movie to see alone? Okay. I mean, it's really. Is it a tearjerker? Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. So. So yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Here's the problem. So I went on a Friday night. Okay. To West Shore, which is always packed. Yeah. And we got there kind of late, so we had to sit really close to the screen. Mm. And the row in front of us were. I, I I didn't check and see if it was PG thirteen or R, so I don't know. But the row in front of us 
were younger people that were making a ton of like they were dropping stuff and laughing and so annoying and like laughing at parts that like didn't even make sense like it wasn't even funny it wasn't even appropriate to laugh at that part mm. and so that was annoying so that was kind of like setting me up and no, I'm not going to say what I was going to say next. <laughs> no, please, please, because, do. you no, can't do no, that. No, because they might say listen. It! No, no, I'll tell you after because they might listen to the totally spoiled podcast. Oh, and God, I don't okay. want to say anything in it. We don't want to offend anyone. No, I don't want to say. It. Right. Um, so that in mind, I was very distracted during it, but it was very good. Like there, there's. A, do you know the concept of a Star Is Born? I don't really. So it's about an aging rock star who who's Bradley Cooper mm-hmm. who finds. Lady Gaga performing in like this small like dive bar Mm -hmm. and takes her on the road with him and she becomes a star while his star is kind of fading right so that's that's what the whole thing is about and I okay so if you haven't seen a total if you haven't seen a, a star is born yet and you don't want it spoiled I'll give you five seconds to to skip ahead right now because actually, I guess I'm gonna need like 15 seconds. Because you could do like skips. <laughs> Just skip ahead. You ready? Skip, Five, skip, 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 four, three. So he dies. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you have to spoil it to that extent? What is wrong with you? He kills himself. Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. But okay. So if you've seen like, it, so it's the fourth time it's being done. So if you had seen any of like the like the one with Barbara Streisand or anything, it's the same storyline. Like, he kills himself in all the storylines. Um, this but is depressing. It, it really is. It, but it is such... Un- like, Bradley Cooper is amazing. And he, he sings himself. In That's the him film. singing. In I didn't even film. know he could sing. I didn't either. And, and he's good? amazing. He's amazing. And then, of course, Gaga. Wow. Who's, you know, Gaga singing is... Yeah, okay. uh, no, yeah I was going to say, I, I, well, I, to be honest with you. You don't like her? She's not my favorite. Wow. She's not my favorite. So I'd be curious to see her role as an actress. Because I've heard, you know, she's been in American Horror Story. But as we both know, I don't really watch that. Because right. I don't do well with those she things. She was good in it. She was good. Yeah. So I'd be curious to see her role as an actress. She was amazing. Really? Yeah. The only thing that bothered me about the movie, and this is a personal thing. Okay. Is... In the storyline, of course, her star is getting brighter. And when her star right. is getting brighter, it kind of turns into the story of Gaga. And that's what I didn't like about it. Oh. But uh, that has to be and, there okay. for the storyline. It's okay. just a personal thing that I, I didn't care to, when it kind of flipped around and started right. concentrating more on her. I was like, and I'm, I'm kind of putting preconceived thoughts into your head, so... It's I'll probably ha- going to screw it up for you. I'll have to see it, though, and keep in mind what you said, and then just kind of make up my own idea of what i think about it too i definitely i definitely am gonna see it you need i just to need it. to figure out what. you need to see it it's really good okay. and man there is this one scene where my heart just broke broke like aye, aye, aye. it is it is bad and you'll know what i'm talking about when you see it it's yeah it's okay. definitely a tearjerker yeah so uh yeah. don't forget dean kane on the Totally Spoiled podcast. My man. My man. Super. After you watch on YouTube <laughs> or uh, listen on iTunes, just head to, to the uh, podcast version yeah. and you'll be able to see it on there. So this is us. An incredible episode last night. Oh, my God. And my tear my tier ticker. Tear docs. Tier, no, my tear ticker clicked to one last night. Yeah. It definitely can, clicked to one. Can I just say tissue? Tuesday is back in full effect. Full effect last night. I'm yeah. like, already, first episode, right back into it. I think they needed to, set, you know, set the grounds, get back into it. And it really kind of like, Ooh. me that that much. Yesterday, back Got at you? It. It's a good thing I watched this by myself. Well, what's crazy is, remember how you had mentioned that one of the things you didn't like about Rebecca is how proper she is and how she has to have things done. We learned last night why, and it's because that's how she was raised yep. with her proper parents, Yep, which was great to see. I Absolutely. loved the storylines last night. Like, they are oh, delving yeah. deep, deep into the other characters, which right. I love. Right. But let me ask you a question. If a guy shows up after three years, do you take him back right away? No. What was that? No. 
I, that kind of bothered me. I'm not going to lie. That like, kind of bothered me. I don't think that was very natural. The guy shows up after three years of being gone. Now, we don't really yeah. know the backstory of... She said she wanted it that way. But we don't yeah. know the backstory of why. Of what happened of between what happened. Them. Like, why why he left. Why she said no. Well, right. Well, he there, moved wait, to... Oh, yes, yes. Look at this. Ding, it's ding, like... Ding, <laughs> Eventually, episode 33, and we're finally on the same wavelength. What it's is this? It's because he was moving to London, wanted and her to move with him. No. But Look would you take him back, like, right away? No. And, like, they were already kissing? and Immediately. And talking about moving to New York? Yeah. And, no. What, what I is, mean, there's a thing called spontaneity. That's how you say it in English? Yeah. English? Good. How do you say it in Spanish? I have no idea. <laughs> That's why he said it in English. Uh, oh my god, that's awesome. <laughs> so yeah, I'm like, there, there's a thing called that, but to literally flip your life around and accept a trip with someone you haven't seen in three years, right had away. a history with right away, and you know, no, no, not when think you're so. thinking about another guy, right? Like she had just met Jack, and Jack was right. And he saw, saw it. it. Yeah, that was bad. Oh, Speaking of Jack, that was horrible. Can we talk about how crappy Jack's dad is? Oh, he's a piece of. Caca. I mean, like piece of caca. He is like if you step in dog crap and you look at your shoe with the dog crap on it, you see his face. No, his face would be the crap that comes off, off of the dog crap. <laughs> Like, his dad is horror. Blaming him for his brother's death? And, of course, we're going to learn about that as they delve deeper into oh, the Vietnam. Oh, yeah. I think right into next episode, possibly. Yeah. At but, least some foreshadowing into it. And we knew that the dad was bad because Before. he was a drunk and, and all that. But and blaming him? And we saw him? some glimpses in, like, the prior season. But I have a feeling we're going to see a lot more. Unless if this kind of cut of the mom moving out... That's of course if she doesn't backtrack. We we get a we get a good idea of kind of where he where he comes from and how caca his dad is. And that's amazing for him kind of taking control and be like, listen, you can stay here, I'm gonna kill him. So <laughs> you're getting out either way. Right. That was amazing. And then moves the Very mom bold. out. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh for once and this is gonna be hard to say because I love this character. But for once, I did not like Randall. At all. Okay, why? We're not on at all. Like, Super, you didn't go with me on Super, and... No, I... I, I see, because I disagree. I feel like this episode, we saw a sense of vulnerability from him. Yes, but it didn't start that way. With him and Kate... So and you didn't like that part. I didn't like it at all that he's pushing the the uh, adoption on her. Yeah. I mean, we get it. Yeah. You're adopted, dude. We we understand. And we understand how hard it was for you being adopted in the family. But that doesn't mean you have the right to, to push, push that. I agree. Especially when, when Kate's been going through, through what a she... a lot. Oh, yeah. my God. I mean, yeah. like, literally that scene... Keep in mind, though, I'm not excusing him and I'm not excusing her. He was really really hurt and i get that too Absolutely. i'm playing devil, devil's advocate with both of them by her comment on saying basically she was going to be the only one to be able to pass on a piece of dad so i think that came out of not mal intent direct directly to hurt her and he didn't realize how it was going to affect her that much but kind of out of spite yeah but we've kind of seen it in him that a lot of his life is based around being adopted. Yeah. Now, now I'm not yeah. adopted from what I know. I mean, I don't look <laughs> I don't look like my parents, Someone so get I, them a blood test. Someone I always joke that test. I was adopted because I don't look like either of my parents. So Oh, that's funny. I always joke that I was a milkman's kid. Oh my god. So I don't know when you are adopted how much that does play, but it seems to be like something that he can't get over. Like that he can't get past. To be honest with you, again, like like you, I'm I'm not adopted. Are you sure? Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh yeah. My mom and I are scarily like. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, we should God. have her on the show. Oh, sh that would be fun. Don't don't 
<laughs> don't tempt me or her with a good time. She won't That's be funny. speaking much of any English, <laughs> oh my but God, she'll that try. Was amazing. She'll try. But um, yeah, I feel like when you're adopted, that's something that is always going to carry you with you. It may affect others more than others. Right. But I feel like that's something you just you can't get away from. See, and again, this is this is a very hard topic because I'm not adopted, so I don't It's hard to relate. Right. Yeah. But I would think that at some point you would be okay with it or I would I, think and definitely hope so. I would think and definitely hope so, but yeah, I mean, I unless if you're kind of walking in those shoes, you don't really know. I think I want to talk to one, a friend of mine who's adopted, just kind of get a feel for it. We have we have a coworker here that you probably had no idea that's adopted. Really? Mm-hmm. Can you give me initials? A H. H. I don't know who that is. Mm-hmm. Oh, and uh, like I, I don't want to. <laughs> English. Well, I don't want to give department? away who it is. Promotions? Yeah. Oh wow, I didn't know that. Yep. Well, we could talk to her and kind of get a feel yeah, for what I, it's like. I, I think she'd totally be in. I, I think that would be interesting to just the dynamic of knowing if it is something that kind of revolves or that like makes your life. I, yeah. I don't know. Let's talk to her about that. We definitely could. I yeah, think it'd be very absolutely. interesting. Um. So, if your significant other dies, how long do you wait before you move on? And and that's a this is a general question. Yeah, see, because Brian, it, I don't think there's a time clock for that. Every experience, every relationship, every person is different, and I don't think there's a right or wrong time. I mean, if, if it's like I say that, and then I'm about to say if it's within six months, and I think that's just crazy, but it, kind of. But some people can can never move on my dad passed away in 2005 and my mom said she would never remarry really she'd never remarry and to date funny enough we actually had a conversation about this this week and i spent a good amount of time with her just about stuff we had errands to do and just kind of you know spend good time together and we how we came up in conversation i'd never asked her before but oh because we were talking about me and my mom telling me about me getting married or relationships or kids and I'm like, you know, there's never really a right time, you know, a right or wrong time, to be honest. And, you know, I told her, I was like, even with with dad's passing, you know, we really had to be there for each other. We were it. And then my brother, like the three of us. And I had just mentioned it. I was like, you know, mom, I remember years ago you saying you you'd never remarry. I was like, it's been it's been over 10 years. I was like, you never. Yeah. I was like, you never never thought about it like did you do it because of us like you didn't want to bring someone else in the picture or right. you just never wanted to you know that wasn't it for you and she's like no she didn't wow. really elaborate much on it not because i don't think we're close enough but she was like after him no that was her only marriage well first of all my condolences to you i didn't know that uh Ain't but kids. second of all if you don't mind me asking how yeah, old yeah. is your mom my mom is 66, and when my dad passed away, she was 53. 52, 53? Yeah. She so, just turned 53. She so just is turned it, 53. It, and she's, she had, does she date? No. That's so crazy to me, because that's still young. Yeah. Yeah, that's wow. still, it's not like losing someone when you're like 65. Like and yeah, yeah, no, she was she was 52 at that time and yeah That's she incredible. never dated after that I don't, honestly besides casual conversation really talk to a guy wow <laughs> it's so it was really it was really thinking about it now as an adult and actually thinking about if it's in the plans or future for me to get married one day or have kids which i i would want i how i'm wired i definitely would want to i i started thinking more and I'm like, man, my mom has been on her own for 13 years. That is so incredible. And she was like, at this point in time, even back then, having to start all over and get used to being with someone else, she's like, you guys were my life before and really became my life after. So. And how long were they married? Do you know? 
They were married. I was 12 when he passed away, and they were married three years prior to that. So, so 15, 15 years? Wow, yeah. that's so and that crazy. that was her, her one and only marriage. Man. My mom and- even got married old. She got married, not old, I should not say, she got married older. My mom got married at the age of 30, 38 into 39. That is such an incredible story. Wow. And, and the only reason I brought that up yeah. was a total joke in the episode yeah. was when she goes in for surgery and they start oh, talking God. about if she dies while she's under. I love that part. <laughs> I'm like, when you can joke about things like that, you know you've hit that other level. Yeah, Kate but and yeah, Toby right? are amazing together. I, I, I love them. How I seriously ama- love them. How amazing was the scene with the three Kates? That was like twisted. Yeah, because the teenager Kate Super is, emo. is dark. Very, and very. Uh, what was the comment that she, oh, she was eating something and older Kate goes, you shouldn't eat that. And teenage Kate goes, yeah, I see that. It's like, whoa, whoa, Jesus. And she even drops the bomb of, yeah, I see that, but dad died. So yeah. remember that? Oh my God. But yeah. I mean, the, Ouch. the scenes of the three of them together were amazing because you could see the dynamic. And I watched the yeah. uh, the after show. Did on YouTube. you? Yeah. I wanted to, and I didn't get a chance to. And it was it was Kate talking about a lot of that. And, really? And they were talking about how you can see the diversity between the stages of her life. Mm. Like the very yeah. young Kate was very happy and positive and innocent. So cute. The teenage Kate was very emo and right. very dark because she's dealing with the dad's death. Yeah. And then the older Kate, who has kind of gone through everything and just and pulled out of it. Yeah. I mean, attempting to attempting still. to. But she's she's definitely gone she's through it and to pulled the light. her life together somewhat. Right. I mean, she, as somewhat, we're getting right. more into the season, yeah. she's doing it. But that was an absolutely incredible dynamic. I got to tell you, talking about great scenes or favorite scenes, I'm going to rewind a little bit to speak about when ironically and oh my god i knew it and even though the great thing is that rebecca wasn't planning it and i actually thought she was remember when she left the off the the house of her her exes right and she's like let's celebrate and she went to go she get goes champagne. To the supermarket i thought she was actually trying to go and find Jack, i thought she was too right yeah but ironically enough she actually does go to the store and she and runs further, into him. ironically enough runs into him and his mom which was crazy this was the tear taker for me. This was the tear taker. Right here, right here. So two parts to that. One where she was like, you never showed up. And he's like, yeah, I did. And I saw you kissing that other man. Secondly. Oh, the dream? Where No, not oh. even that one, but that's good too. Where he keeps turning back around to go back to his mom. And she's like, Jack. Jack. She keeps trying to pull him back. Jack. Yeah. And on that last one. Where she, at the beginning, where she's telling him she's going to move to New York, but that last one where she just stops. And you could tell it was one of those questions just to continue the conversation. Like, Jack, do you have a dream? And his his answer was just, oh, like, I was a mess. I'm eating my, like, nachos. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's where I, yeah. yeah. And he's like, no, not really. And no one's really asked me that before. And he's like, my dream right now would just be to see my mom happy and second to that be married have a family and kids and i think that how simplistic yes yeah, that's what i was going to say how simplistic and beautiful we try in real in reality we try unintentionally to complicate our lives so much that the simple basics as health family a companion we simply overlook, like, why do all our dreams have to be, you know, a traveling a the singer, world, having millions dancer, of right, traveling the world, being a God knows what with what title, like simple things that certain people want their whole life and never get, or even in Kate's situation, being a female and not being able to have kids, which hopefully we're going to see that turn around. But the simplicity is so beautiful. Yeah, and I mean, we've known that uh, Jack is a very simple man, but yeah. this definitely just showed you how mm. simple he is. And, you yeah. know, he's he's a man who was raised in a blue-collar family. Mm-hmm. He went to war. He came back. 
he started into blue collar stuff because in in the past seasons yeah. we see him like clean or uh, fixing people's cars, cars and stuff just to make money. Right. So I mean, he's a very simple man, and just that scene yeah. of talking about his simple dream is like, uh, oh my god! Like it wasn't even like a, a sad thing. No, or, it, it was, was like a just a joyful. I don't. I don't know what. Like my heart just like it was beautiful. Yeah. It was just simply beautiful. Absolutely. Ah. And I yeah. I, I loved how deep they went into showing us how Rebecca and Jack got together because you couldn't really figure it out through the episode because no. they kept missing each other. Right. And then she's leaving. She was going to go to New York and then they meet up in the supermarket and then he takes her back or no, she finds him at the house and they like clean dishes yeah. together. And it was so funny because she goes into talking to the mother of the ex, which I thought yeah. she was awesome. I really liked her. She's bold. And for a second, I'm like, she's borderline a bitch. Right. But I was like, no, she's just direct. And I love that about people. She's just direct. So she's talking to his ex's mother about Jack. another man. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that isn't her son. And from there is where, you know, like even the mom says, like, you have a gut feeling, you have an instinct and pretty much telling her go. Yeah. You know, and then she's she she remembered again, like just listening, like simple little things like you just pay attention. You listen. <laughs> you listen. Oh, my God. That's a thing. <laughs> You're crying because That's a man thing. listened. Oh my God. <laughs> That's what we've come to. That's what we've come to. That's so funny. <laughs> right. And then she right? shows up at Jack's yeah, door. So and she, oh. she listened that he was going to be taking her mom's was at the Hamptons, that area. Or where was she saying? No, I, Not I, the Hamptons. So, some, it some, was some it road. Was some, some area neighborhood and, vicinity. Yeah. But she, she knew and, and he, you know, that, that whole thing happened and she was searching for his car, found it, walked, not even knowing if really that was a house, but she took a chance. And going back to that scene where you're saying about the kitchen, the way she looks at him from picking up the table, yeah. cleaning the dishes. Oh my God. It was almost that look of like, this is it. Yeah. He's it. And how she just starts to help him. Like, I saw that. I'm like, find somebody who looks at you like, like that. Like that. Like, she, like, he's just cleaning the table and doing the dishes. And, and she's it's looking at him like, this is my future. I, I have realized what my future is. And it's with this man. That was amazing. Yeah. And then helps him with the dishes. And then, okay. Yeah. So not to, not to poo on this parade. It was just so good. Okay. Not to poo on this, but he has no money to take her on a date. You're taking the words out of my mouth. That's exact. I know exactly where you're he going. He has no money to do anything, but yet they're going to drive to Los Angeles? <laughs> what? Where, where does that come from? So remember spontaneity? This is where I like spontaneity. This I get it. This is where it fits. Believe me, I loved love it. it. I loved, loved it. Loved it. But... How do you have the money to do that? I, don't know, <laughs> I guess we're gonna have to we're figure gonna it out. Figure it out. By the way, there was a deleted scene. A what? A deleted scene. Where? Like where? So they talk about this in the after show. Okay. The deleted scene was uh, in the hospital when Toby has to give sperm. Uh huh. There's a deleted scene of Randall. So Toby and Randall are kind of hanging by the the room. Uh huh. And Toby's like, I, I, I can't do this. I've got too much going on. I can't think. I can't relax. And Randall is trying to calm him down and gives him ideas of how to relax so he can go give the sperm. Stop it! Is, it. It's, it's oh awesome. My God. It was a deleted scene that they why showed did in the they after show. That? I mean, I could, I could kind of see I mean, how or why. Yeah, it didn't mm. need to be in there, but it was, it was great. Funny. It was awesome. Oh, you have to watch great. the after show. I do. It I was do. really good. So uh, from a. Super, you like that episode of Good This stuff. Is Us last night to Superman, my man, my man. We talked to Dean Kane on the podcast version on iHeartRadio and iTunes at Brian Fink at April on air. Remember, subscribe and follow the Totally Spoiled podcast. Search it on YouTube. Thank you so much for listening every week. Gracias.